<laughs> Kevin Kellum, how you doing, buddy? I'm well. I'm oh, well. Hell yeah. yeah. To my left, the the fucking the right hand man, the co-founder of Roast Battle Chicago, the autistic wonder. Give it up for the amazing <laughs> bad pan word. It was almost nice. I almost had a nice introduction. I thought he was gonna go nice. I was wrong. <laughs> You were wrong. You should have calculated. You should have double checked your spreadsheet. I, oh, go fuck I yourself. thought that was really nice. I thought that was very kind. I called you a wonder. Listen, <laughs> they can't hope be winners, gang. Listen, <laughs> but us, we're not the reason we're here. We're here because we're in new digs. We're in a new spot, and we got uh, a recent phenomenon on the show. One of the funniest comics I've seen in Chicago, taken it by fucking storm since he's been on the fucking show. Give it up for the amazing. Ken Flores, how you doing, buddy? Yo, what up, man? Thank you guys for having me, man. Thank you guys for having me, bro. A fan favorite. Yeah, man. By the way, I was sitting right there. I want them to know. I was sitting right there, and they said I was too fucking fat to sit that close to the camera. <laughs> so they made me swap back here. <laughs> so I'm still getting roasted. This is not even supposed to be the fucking show. Yeah, the brutal, the brutal, camera right, adds 150 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> he used the word distorted. So <laughs> he used a technical terminology right. to be I'm, cool. Our producer, Justin, uh, yeah. he did that. He did that, honestly, so it looks better than the shot. He also, thought I, I, I thought I wasn't gonna know what the fuck that shit meant, dog. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, but I know it's not good, dog. He was, he was trying to be technical. Uh, he was trying to be technical about it. He was like, "It's like fish eye, yeah. you know. <laughs> <laughs> the width is increasing on the shot." Yeah. <laughs> it's quite disrespectful. I don't appreciate that, Justin. It's an I'll aperture that. issue. It's an aperture issue. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you, you take you and your f stops and get the fuck out of here. I don't want nothing to do with them. <laughs> that being said, that's very fun. Ken, you're amazing, man. You just had one a Hall of Fame. My personal favorite battle we've had on the show. It standing was ovation. Standing ovation show. Standing ovation. And you've only done the show, what is it, twice? Three twice, times? yeah. Two, two times. times. Two times, yeah. I've only and, done the show twice. And both of them have been just so fucking great, man. And let me ask you something. Have you done roast battles before this? You want to know this funny thing, bro? I've only ever done one before this. And it was like when I was like three months into comedy. And I used to be like, you know, at the lunch table, you know, you get you roasting yeah, with your yeah, homies yeah. and shit. Yeah. So that's kind of where the shit started for me. Even comedy, like I started off roasting before I ever wrote like a, a bit or whatever, you know? And yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. so when I saw like they were promoting this roast in like West Chicago, it was ran by like a, a few OG comics from the suburbs. And what, I, what year was this? What year was this? It was probably year 2019. So 2019? it was like okay. Alex Crockman and like, uh, David Sidko there I think David Sidko now helps run SNF if you guys ever done that in Aurora but yeah, yeah. but uh, anyway so I signed up to to do the roast right and I had to actually roast David Sidko but at that time I was drinking a lot and I had like an eight ball of coke on me bro oh no so I'm I'm just like Hella confident. Demonetized. Oh, oh, my bad. I'm not supposed to talk about that. No, you're like, good. Oh, you're no, good. No, we don't care. We don't care. My bad. Say it. Say it. Say we it. got a pass. You, you, we got a pass. You're drinking. Wow, hey. You have an eight ball of coke in your pocket. My bad. Uh, yeah. That's just, I'm not going to hide who I am. But no, you're good. No, you're good. No, you're good. Anyway, so I was, I was just getting fucked up, getting drinking. And I, I don't know if you guys ever done that shit, but when you do that shit, you start getting even more confident and more confident. Yeah. But you don't realize when you go get on stage and you try to do jokes, you lose your cadence, you lose your timing, your... your you, I don't know. Sometimes you go too fast. You talk too loud. And I, all the jokes I wrote were just bombing and bombing. And it was oh, one of those no. things where I didn't bring anybody. Like, nobody was with me. And it was, like, all his homies. Like, I don't know. And oh, I was no. already, like, I was, like, an open micer at the time. And I was, I mean, I still am. But I was, like, fresh, new right then and there. Yeah. And I used to be, like, hella cocky. Like, I learned, like, my lessons, you know. And yeah. I try to, like, do it the right way now. But I was, like, all cocky. You know, sometimes motherfuckers come in and, like, just start headlining shows and like that was one of those oh, idiots, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, anyway, so you were, you I were. was, I was, <laughs> yeah, I was, I was. So um, yeah, so I ended yeah, you up. You are dumb, actually. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm fat and dumb. Shit. <laughs> if you're just joining us, yes. we're here with fat and dumb comedian Ken <laughs> <laughs> Floor. <laughs> but yeah, so anyway, so I, you're up there with him. I bombed, you know, I bombed. He got me, whatever. And ever since that day, I was like. Fuck roast, like these white people roast are different. Like, <laughs> like, like, cause, cause, Cause it is different, you know, from like a lunch table. Like you're actually, oh, yeah. you yeah, actually yeah. gotta write out bits. You have to have rebuttals. You gotta be quick on your feet. Like it's different. Yeah. I don't know, but anyway. So I was like, I'm never gonna do that shit again. And I did it for a while until you guys booked me for. I think Claire actually was the one that booked me for the first one, and it was supposed to be against Luis Arevalo, yep. but he was he whatever he had some stuff going on. Yeah, he couldn't he do drop. it. And then uh, they put, and then I was actually, when he canceled, Gabriel Alviso was next to me. I know he was on the podcast not too long ago. Yeah, man. Yeah. And uh, he's like, oh, well, I can do it with you if you want. And I was like, all right, fuck it. And then I didn't realize like, that he's like one of the best, you guys, you know, best on the show. Yeah, and I was like, yeah. fuck. So then I realized, I was telling people, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna go against Gabe. They're like, damn, you're gonna go against Gabe. Like, he's funny as fuck. Yeah, I roast. He's brutal, man. So I was like, shit, you know? Let's start real quick. I, uh, I'm excited to be here. Today's my 30th birthday, so this is very exciting. Thank you. Thank you. 
And uh, I just wanted to say thank you to the producers. They all got together and bought me the biggest Mexican piñata they could find. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, later on, we're all going to get blindfolded and beat the shit out of it. It's filled with candy and loose cigarettes. <laughs> Is that a roaster? The fuck? Yeah, I mean, they laugh <laughs> hard. I mean, are you 30 and you dress like you five, motherfucker? <laughs> so, it just, I mean, just how I thought, like, I, my, for my first few jokes, like, kind of bombed on that first roast, but man, I, I had I had seen, I was going through his Instagram, you know, trying to do homework, and I seen, like, his picture, like, without his beard and without his hair, I was like, dude, this dude's a fucking square. <laughs> dude, that was a legendary closer. <laughs> top top five, like, like oh, ultimate, man. like, closers for a show, that's gotta be on the list. So fucking funny. Preach, and I was like, I know that, at the that photo. point, I didn't, I didn't know how it was gonna go, so I was like, I gotta have at least one that I know is funny, and I was glad I had that one, because I think I think I was losing that battle until that happened. Once that happened, it turned everything. <laughs> Gabriel claims that he's from California, but every time he says the word foo, homie, or dog, it sounds a little corny. And I couldn't put my thumb on it, but I finally figured it out. Because behind that pubic beard, Gabe is actually <laughs> just a white boy from Logan oh, Square. Yeah. It was what dunk, you're talking man. about is is you saw the photo on Instagram and you pulled out the photo printed out of how white he looks. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he looks like one of us on this did side you, of the did table. You, did you have someone go to a library and print out a photo? Like, Luckily, I work in an office, so I didn't have to. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, oh, you're saying Kevin work in an office? Yeah, yeah. Well, He's dumb, um, fat, and unemployed. Yeah, Get the well, fuck um, out of here, Kevin. I cleaned the office, but I snuck in the computer. I printed, <laughs> I printed that shit out. I made it big as fuck. And, yeah. Uh, that was amazing. You had a great fucking roast there, and then we put you up on this last one. And oh my god, were you throwing haymakers, Ken? Oh, yeah, man. at Can that I, at that point, oh, my bad. Go ahead. No, it's okay. Well, I want to know what what it was like for you because I know we just kind of did before you came in. We did like a podcast, kind of talking about what it was like for that night when Jeff Ross he came through. He was yeah. he was the judge, and what it was like booking that, trying to run it. I want to know what it was like for you sitting there in the back and getting the news that he was going to be there. Can you kind of yeah. walk us through what what the process you, you was? Thirty minutes? Advanced, no, right? no, 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 I, no, I didn't. So I, I'll walk you through the process actually because this is how funny it is. I had two shows that night. I was able to book two shows because you guys pushed until ten. Yeah. I was like, I don't know why the fuck they're doing it so late, but regardless, I'll be able to get a set in, and that way I'm warmed up. And that show was supposed to be in Lyle, and it actually got canceled because nobody was fucking there. Wow. And I was like, well, fuck. At least they paid me like twenty bucks because I showed up anyway. Yeah, I was like, nice. fuck it. So I ended up going to a jewel. And I was like, fuck it, I'm going to just get a 12-pack of Twisted, twisted Tees, you know? It's fucking free, I guess. We didn't do the show. So I put down the 20. I bought a case of 12 Twisted Tees. Mm -hmm. And we drove out here to Chicago. And uh, I drank like 11 of them. And I gave him one. So I showed up fucked up. Like, I'm hammered, bro. bro. I, I, <laughs> His I buddies know. in the background laughing like, yeah, yeah. It was, he was fucked up. <laughs> I, I, you, you almost ripped an entire... Entire case of twisted teeth. Oh yeah, slight in a work. car. Slight in work. a car. Wall. It's like <laughs> slight work. <laughs> slight <laughs> work. Yeah. He doesn't play. Yeah. So I got. I got. It was. It got to a point. I don't know where you guys park when you guys go to Lincoln Lodge or if you guys drive to Lincoln Lodge. But we yeah. get. We get in between that little alley right after the Lincoln Lodge and try to park somewhere in the back residential area. Yeah. Dude, I had to like jump out the car in front of Lincoln. I literally like took a piss right there on Milwaukee just because I couldn't hold it. I was so fucked up that I was still drinking walking to the Lincoln Lodge because I was like, it's a 10 p.m. show. There's probably, I don't know, going to be like 20, 25 people. I, like, I don't know. I didn't know what to expect, yeah, right? Sure. And um, yeah, and I was like, 90. it's Oscar Carvalho. Hall. That's my homie. Like, Oscar, me and Oscar have got fucked up. He's crashed on my couch. Like, I know him personally. And the last time I was there... He was also on the lineup, yeah. but he was roasting Khalil. That's right. And he fucking was like, he, he, he was do, I know he was doing like seven jokes per turn. Yeah. So I yeah. knew that he was going to come with that rapid fire. So I was like, fuck this dude. I want to fucking bury him. Like, yeah. like I, I, I want to like, you know, because I don't know. But anyway, that he's, my he's my friend, but I was like, I'm going to fuck. It's a competitive thing. You're yeah. Like, I want to fucking, let's go, dude. I yeah, know what you're exactly, <laughs> exactly. But then I got worried because I was like, damn. I, 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 I'm a little bit fucked up now, but and then you guys told me, oh, you're gonna go and end up going last. I was like, fuck. Yep. Now I gotta keep drinking because if I stop drinking, I'm gonna start coming down. 
I'm not, oh, even, no. I'm, not, I'm not even gonna be lit, you know. So I, I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna keep drinking. So I was just buying PBR tall boys at the fucking Lincoln Lodge. <laughs> And I'm getting more hammered, more hammered. I'm seeing hella comedians there, right? So I start, so I'm like, damn, everybody's here. And I start asking people for coke and shit. You asked me for coke. I remember you asked me for coke and stuff standing in line. On the Jeff Ross night? Yeah, yeah. I was so fucked up. On the biggest night in show history. He comes up to me. He comes up, right? He comes up. The headliner. Dude, he comes up to me. I mean, waiting in line. He goes, he goes, hey, homie. I'm like, what's up, dude? He's like, <laughs> he's, like, he's like, real quick, I think he's going to ask me something about roast battle. Related. Something about the show. Hey, I think he was about to show? ask me. I literally am like, he probably found out about Jeff Ross. He's okay. going to ask me. If he's gonna, He's like, I got a question for you. And dude. I was like, hey, yeah. homie, he's roast like, master like, general on the show, dog? <laughs> he, goes, he, goes, he goes, dude, you know I can get some coke, dog? <laughs> No way! And I was like, I was like, I do. You should. Add. <laughs> this is gonna be. This is gonna be cut. But. <laughs> <laughs> well, then everybody kept sending me on a little fucking mission. So now I asked like twenty people at the Lincoln Lodge, like, hey, you know where I get No, we knew you were drunk. We're trying to get you to walk it off. <laughs> fucking finally somebody that was actually in the room uh he sat next to me and he's trying to book me for his show he booked me for a show he's like are you free this day i want to have you on i'm like yeah 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 but also you know i could get a bump and he's like actually yeah he's like just come with me to the bathroom so i was like oh shit so i actually found some got fucked up sobered up enough and then i go to the meeting you guys are like we're gonna have the meeting so now at this point i'm like like I'm fucking, <laughs> I'm lit. And then I'm. And let then let guys, it be known that roast battle comedy, the Lincoln Lodge, does not endorse the illegal not, use of this narcotics. This is my story. <laughs> <laughs> this is his truth, Kevin. Are you trying to yeah. silence a minority? Right. Oh. <laughs> Stay, <laughs> st- <laughs> yeah, Stay they, strong, Kevin. They gave King. me a baggie that said "Roast Battle Chicago" on it. <laughs> 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 but anyway, you can't tell them about the private bed. <laughs> <laughs> so we're we're in the we're in the in the again the green room at the Lincoln Lodge and everybody's doing the meeting and I'm just kind of like all right, bro, let's get this shit over with. Like I want to go sit down, keep drinking, and then that's when you, I heard you say Jeff Ross is gonna be here, and I was like, oh fuck, I was like, is that here right? I was like, there's no fucking like I didn't know he was in town, so I was yeah. like, but I, then I started, I was like, if he was in town, then it makes sense, right? And then yeah, and then he, I thought I was waiting for you guys to be like I'm fucking around or whatever, but you guys didn't, so I was like, oh shit. And then you, I know that you, uh, somebody said that he might not be here until like the last few uh, rounds, yeah. but I know I was going last. So I was like, fuck, like maybe he might see my shit. And at that point, well, the first thing I sobered up right away because I was like, dude, my jokes suck. I was like, I need to write hitters. Like I was just kind of doing, you know, I don't know, yeah, just yeah. Back, backyard shit. So like that Oompa Loompa joke that I did, yeah, I wasn't even like a joke I had. I came up with that oh. shit right then and there. Like I had Whoa. to put it into my fucking note. I was like, I was like, he does look like a Oompa Loompa, but you know, as as a as a comedian, you don't want that, that's hack. You know, you want to go yeah. Yeah, what, yeah. the next, next step, level. the next level. I was like, Oscar, Oscar looks like the Oompa Loompa that got fired from the chocolate factory for using somebody else's social security number. <laughs> Like whatever, so I put the joke together, and I mean, I think that was that's still one of my favorite bits I put together. And, and it was like Luba minutes who before. stole someone else's social security card. Yeah, oh, yeah. He, he and it was it got a standing ovation mid mid roast. We that's haven't like had two, that. Before. The third joke in out of seven. It fucking burned yeah. down the room, dude. Yeah, and it was just hearing everybody go bad oh bad oh. Yeah. I was like, God damn, you know. At that point, it was like, like the coke was hitting, <laughs> no, the cheering was hitting, the jokes was hitting. <laughs> Like, I was just, like, oh, fucking watching Oscar crumble down. I was, like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, get out of my country. You know what I, mean? <laughs> I was just kidding, man. <laughs> so funny. 
Oh man, dude, I think that's that's wow. so wild now. That's, that's such an so insane funny. like like your take on that night is so much more different than, than ours mine. was. We hope Mr. Ross shows up on time <laughs> and we can get him a water and he enjoys our show. <laughs> that's so <Yeah>. funny. <laughs> Meanwhile, you are a one person Van Halen walking around the streets of Chicago. Getting... <laughs> I, I don't give a shit, bro. The fentanyl, whatever, give it to me, dog. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, they're like you got. Do you guys, they're like people ask me have testers. Like yeah, it's my nose, bitch. Oh. Like, that's what I. Test after the show, you're just drinking scissor up. <laughs> what? <laughs> you're double cupped after the show. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> dude, I was like, I'm th- I was in a meeting with my eyes rolling back. Like, I was, I was just lit. Bro. I was having fun though. You know, we don't know when your eyes roll back. Yeah, exactly. That's why. <laughs> that's why it's the best part because so people funny. don't really know I'm fucked up. Ooh, ooh. Speaking of visiting, look at this motherfucker. He says he's Mexican, but look at his fucking face, man. <laughs> this motherfucker is Mongolian, bro. <laughs> he's like. He's a direct descendant of Genghis Khan, bro. Matter of fact, in his will, they gave him China, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Do you guys know what he's saying? <laughs> they, they obviously laughing, fool. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. Until I can, like, either how, how let him know. How often do you get away with that? How often you get, you, when you're get away with being fucked up? Yeah, Man, loosey, loosey. You don't want to always on right I'm now. Usually fucked up. <laughs> Actually, it's Tuesday right now, so I'm I came from work, so I'm I'm okay. sober. I'm sober, but and I think that's when I'm the funniest when I'm sober. But again, I wasn't expecting it that night to be as big as it was. You know, like yeah, I, yeah. if I had, I mean, I didn't. I don't want to seem unprofessional. Like no. if I would have known that was gonna go down like that, I would have tried to stay sober. But I also want to say. If it wouldn't have gone down like that, it might have not went how it went, you know? Yeah, so, like, yeah. Everything fell into place perfectly, you know? Wow. And I was want, like, when I was watching the YouTube video, I was like, bro, these people don't even know I'm fucking <laughs> zooted, you feel me? Like, 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 You're all yacked up out there. Yeah. You know what I mean? and, and then it was funny because, uh, because like, two weeks later, I did a show with Oscar at the Lincoln Lodge, and I was trying to write on stage or whatever, and I also got drunk, but I just riffed the whole set, yeah. and it was packed. And I, I felt like shit because I was like, fuck, I feel like, like, I'm glad that I was able to try new shit, but not really new shit, just kind of riff. But at the same time, I was like, I feel like that was a hot room and I could have killed and done my set and got a few more followers or whatever. Though I felt like it was yeah, a wasted yeah. opportunity, you know? And, but at the same time, I was like, whatever. But anyway, Oscar hit me up, uh, like the day after or whatever. He's like, oh, we were talking about how I had bombed or whatever, right? And he kept, yeah. like, he kept bringing it up. But I was like, bro. I was like, fuck you. Like, I feel like you're still salty about the fucking roast. Like, it had yeah, nothing to do yeah. with this set. Because he hit me up drunk as fuck. He's like, you need to be humble, bro. You need to be humble. Because he was drunk. And he's my friend. Like, sure, we're friends. Course. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, I'm not yeah. talking shit or whatever. Like, if he listens to this, you know, like, that's my dog. Yeah. That's why it was funny to me. He, he was drunk as fuck. Like, he was the one drunk this time, not me, like, at the roast. And he was like, bro, you need to be humble, bro. Like, how'd you expect to kill if you were doing all riffs or whatever? But I was like, bro. Like, that's not, I wasn't mad because I bombed, or I wasn't mad because the people laughed. I was mad because I felt like I should have done a set. I was more mad at myself of what I did that night. Yeah, yeah. But regardless, I was like, bitch, like, don't tell me to be humble. Like, I'm humble. Sure. Like, what are you talking about? Like, yeah. like, I think, I'm, why wouldn't I be humble? Like, I'm a fucking open mic. What the fuck? For sure. And I think we all have sets like that. We're like, fuck, I wish I would have adjusted yeah. midway through there. I was kind of curious, you, you, a little bit of glimpse of two weeks after. What was it like talking with, the guy that you shared the stage with, had, you had that amazing set with Oscar. What what was the conversation like after? Because it also was competitive. You were competing against him. He's your buddy. Yeah, this wasn't, a, like, it's incredible. When we're talking about standing ovations and stuff like that, you haven't watched it, you're just listening to this. It was blow for blow incredible. Like, it was yeah. it, was, it was like watching Oscar people, uh, yeah. like, you guys both destroyed each other. It was incredible. Yeah. I had, well, for me, I wasn't, like, there was a line I didn't want to cross, because I know sometimes people, you know, bring up dead family members, sure, yeah. and they're like, fuck. And you yeah. opened with it. Yeah. Oscar's grandma recently died. <laughs> hey, yo, no way. <laughs> I put her body to rest via cremation, or as I like to call it, boom, roasted, bitch. <laughs> uh, shit. I, this fat fuck is also a fucking cokehead, dog. You know what I'm saying? Last year, he almost died of an overdose. Uh, he almost had a heart attack, dog. You don't need to do coke to have a heart attack, dog. Dog, you know what I'm saying, dog? Your fat ass is gonna have a heart attack regardless, dog. You know what I'm saying, like, You know what I'm saying, like, dog. The reason, dog, dog, if that, if that fentanyl don't get you, diabetes will, motherfucker. You know what I'm saying, dog? Don't even take a Uber home, bro. Take a fucking ambulance as well. You know what I'm saying? Oscar's the only this Mexican the... I know that was born and raised in Chicago, but he looks like he's visiting. <laughs> <laughs> Because um, you open with a cremation joke. 
when I saw Jeff Ross, I was like, fuck it. I don't give a fresh about the window, dog. Like, I'm, <laughs> I don't give a shit. And then I think, I don't know if he riffed the rest of it. I'm happy I opened it with it because then he brought up how I was, uh, I was, I had like an overdose or whatever. Like, yeah. so he brought up personal shit. Oh, yeah. Especially the, like, he talked uh, about your dick not getting hard. Yeah, yeah, shit, crazy shit. Oh, like dare that. he? Right. You know, you know that, bro. But anyway, <laughs> like, just the fact that he talked about, oh, you're such a cokehead and, and all this. And I was just like, Damn, like that motherfucker went there because like I don't hang out like with like at, at in Chicago a lot because I don't yeah, live here, yeah. so it's hard for me to like do stuff like this or like networking shit. People yeah. only know me when I'm at, at a show, you know. Yeah. So um, for him to like open shit up like that, people were like, "Oh shit!" Like what the fuck, right? And obviously me confirming it now that yeah, I was fucked up during that whole thing. <laughs> but regardless, I was like, "Fuck it!" I'm glad that I'm glad that he took it there because that let me know. I'm okay with where I took it. Like that was a joke. That was an intervention. Like, I don't. I don't, yeah. there. Did I don't any, get hurt. Like I, I. The more shit you dig up and talk is like I like it even more, bro. Ken, do you mind if I ask him a question? Nah, go you? ahead. Go ahead. Did you guys know about any of that with Ken? Not at all. No. We had no um, idea. Yeah. <laughs> Zero I, idea. We have yeah. to start. Te- do we have to start drug testing the, the comics <laughs> when they get to their show? I'm. I'm <laughs> of the pro Barry Bond stance. <laughs> yeah, right. All of fame, in this I'm scenario. In. Yeah. Does does this record we, still count? Yeah. Do we, yeah. Do we have to switch it <laughs> to well, a loss? We're listen, taking you out of the record. Strip me from my W's, bro. <laughs> yeah. No. If performance enhancing drugs give us performances like that, I say more power to it. <laughs> 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 that was amazing. Was it awkward talking to him afterwards after the roast, or was? How were you guys hugging? Like it was a lot of emotions Yo. that night. Well, you know what? Like right at right after um right after we got done with the rose, we're kind of both hanging out in the hallway. But at that point, I'm shit faced. Yeah. So yeah. now I'm like, I'm like, people are coming up to me, you know, they're like, oh, what the fuck, you killed whatever. So I'm riding that high, sure. and he's kind of like posted, you know, people are talking because he's fucking funny too. Like he killed. Very funny. He like it's not like he bombed or anything. Like we both did well. And uh, but I got we I don't know. It was kind of it was like a little bit of like. Awkward. I was like, so what do I go up to him? Like, hey, good, good, good job, sport. Or like, what the fuck? What the fuck? How do I open that? I don't know. I, I, I guess. So we kind of didn't really talk. Besides, I was like, all right, bro, I'm out of here because we wanted to drink too, but it was Thursday. I yeah. had to work the next day, so I was like, I'm out of here, bro. I gotta go. I was already fucked up anyway, so uh, I ended up leaving. And then the next time he saw me, I didn't really talk to him because um, we were, I was doing tickets and shit at the door. And then he saw me bomb, mm. so I felt like I was like, I don't know. He 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 opened with that instead. It's like. We're not talking about the roast. We're gonna talk about this shit you just fucking did. Yeah. So it kind of like I let my guard down and I was I wanted to fuck with him and bring it up, but yeah, it's like yeah. I just ate dicks up here. It's like fuck it, so it evens out, I guess. But yeah, uh, but yeah. like what I wanted to do, like I wanted to beat him like four zero. Like I wanted to like to mm-hmm. be a landslide. Like I yeah, wanted that yeah. shit. I know that feeling, man. Sometimes you like sometimes you do a battle. You're like I don't even want this close. <laughs> yeah, like I, I want to smoke him. You know. Yeah. Yeah. This is amazing. <laughs> I have no idea what joke we're on. <laughs> 11, this 11. This fat, sweaty motherfucker, bro. I swear to God, bro. This motherfucker's so sweaty, he don't even walk no more. He just dies and shit. Like a motherfucker, bro. If this motherfucker falls down right now, he'll look like the bears did on Sunday, bro. Just sliding through fucking social field, bro. Wow. Oscar just watched the game today, because this is when they air on Telemundo. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but anyway, so he saw me bomb, and then after that, um, that was it. And then the next time we talked, the uh, is I had I got the voice messages on Facebook. He's like, "Where you at? Let's do a podcast because I do my part over there." Okay. And I was like, "Hey, bro, I can't right now because I got like shit booked up. Like I can't I can't have you come through. Sometimes you'll come through and just get fucked up at the crib." Yeah, yeah. And uh, he's like, oh, "All right, bet." And then he sent me like three voice messages. I was like, "What the fuck?" He's like. Yeah, bro, you gotta be humble, bro. You got. I was like, what the fuck? That's but, so funny. But it was. But I mean, we just gotta chop it up and That's shit. So of funny. course. But let me let me ask you this. So you said like you wanted it to be a landslide. Yeah. You wanted to bury him. Yeah. I don't know if you you definitely won. I don't know if you buried him. I mean, it was an all time roast, and I think one of the reasons the energy was so electric is because you were going blow for blow yeah. in many yeah. of the cases. You, cer- you certainly won the roast, and it's yeah. it was by everyone who watched. It was like, yes, you won. But are you kind of happy and proud that you're like, man, that was just a Hall of Fame fight? You know, honestly, what I, mean? I think the score should have been two two because there was four judges. Mm-hmm. If we if I would have t- we would have tied two two, mm-hmm. I would have been happy because honestly, because he did it better. Because like, I think I, I was expecting him to come out. The reason I wanted to like beat him bad was because I thought he was gonna come out how he came out when he battled Khalil. Yes, where he's just kind of like not following the rules. Yeah, he's just he kind of doing like, and I was like, if this dude does like. 
seven jokes at a time. I got to have one banger to smash them all down. Sure. So, um, but when I when he came out and he did his first bit, and I, I think I even said something like, oh, is that the joke or is that, like, because I wasn't sure if he yeah. was done or what. But then he's like, yeah, motherfucker, they laughing. I was like, oh, fuck. Like, I already, <laughs> fucked, I already <laughs> fucked up, you know? Oscar versus Cleo felt personal. Oscar was really, like, like, sure. like going, like, deep dives on his career. I think Oscar just said everything everybody else been wanting to say. <laughs> <laughs> nah, just kidding. Shout out Kalu. <laughs> I, 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 I got nothing. Yeah, I got nothing it. to say. I got nothing to say. <laughs> but uh, yeah, oh. but yeah, but but no, I like it. Yeah, book it, me at the Red Room. That's yeah. what I. Think. <laughs> <laughs> but now nah, he was fucking. No, nah, I love Oscar, brother. Like he's he, he's literally like I don't have too many friends outside of comedy because sure. again. I'm busy, I'm busy as shit. Motherfuckers be going to the beach on Tuesdays and shit at 2 p.m. Like, I yeah, want to do shit like that, but I work, you know? Sure, sure. But uh, he's like, me and him are actually friends outside of this shit. We've done gigs like in, uh, we shared hotel rooms up in Wisconsin and shit. Uh, gay? Like, yeah, gay as fuck. <laughs> gay as fuck now. Nah, but uh, yeah, and, and actually, fun fact me and Oscar are from the same town in Mexico. Wow. Like our parents, did you guys, like did our parents, parents are. know each other? Did you parents actually, know? no, they don't because uh, my parents are like from the city and he's from like a ranch, like 20 minutes. It's like the suburbs in the city type of deal. Gotcha, gotcha. But um, but anyway, yeah, like he's like, and I'm from I'm from this town, state in Mexico called Guerrero, and it's down south. Most people in Chicago are like from states like Michoacan, you may have heard, Durango, but it's not really too many people from where we're from. So when I saw another comedian being from Guerrero and representing that, I was like, oh shit, like. My parents are from there, and even going, even growing up, because I went to school right here at Funston, um, right in like the Logan Square Humble Park area. Yeah, yeah. And I would never see people that were from the same town, just because those, like, I feel like different people from Mexico went to different places of the U.S. Like, there's a lot of people yeah. from certain states in this state. Yeah. And, like, you know, they follow the specific family or whatever. Anyway. Yeah. But uh, and for then him being a comic and being a funny comic, it was like I look, I look up to him. Like, I still do. Like. Um, like I, I, I don't know. I, I respect like all, all the old. You call him the knife. Oscar's nickname is El Cuchillo, which translates into kitchen knife. <laughs> the, same, knife. the same thing he uses to cut his hair. Dog. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's a roast. Make some noise, man. I don't call him that bullshit, man. I don't call him that shit. Oscar, Oscar, <laughs> Oscar Carvel's name, the the knife. He yeah, the, 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 the El cuchillo, knife. El cuchillo. Yeah, no, <laughs> El cuchillo. No, I, don't get, I think once we get drunk, I, I think I do. Just don't, don't fuck around, you know. What was, but, what was the line you yeah. said? That his nickname is the knife. Then and he goes kitchen knife. He's like, yeah, kitchen knife. That you cut your hair with. Oh yeah, because yeah, his hair's always fucking. I don't know who the fuck cuts his hair. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Honestly, bro, let, you talk to him about that. What is he doing? It looks like fucking. He looks, he looks like Anton Chigurh from <laughs> No Country for Old Men. He looks like he's got like real anime. Here, like yes. in real life, like <laughs> yeah. stiff as shit. You feel me? But yeah, man. Nah, he looks Oscar. like he's wearing a wig, but he's not. It's his real yeah. hair. It's just, this, this podcast is gonna be called Fuck Oscar. We just <laughs> 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 talking shit about Oscar. Hey, Justin, <laughs> Justin, can you change the logo to Fuck Oscar? <laughs> <laughs> Take down of El Cuchillo. How much? Well, how often do you go down to Mexico? I I don't. Really? <laughs> I, I I um. I went uh, like my th my town is real fucked up. Like you, you ever hear about those forty three students that went missing in Mexico out of nowhere? Like it was a real big case. Like they got vaguely, all kinds vaguely, of, I have an idea. What yeah, you're talking got about. like Netflix documentaries, Vice documentaries, but there was like forty three students uh, that were like on a field trip, and then like the police, like the town police, stopped them. And there's the last footage scene of the students is just like them having like a, a brawl with the actual police, not like drug cartels. No, the actual police. How old were they? There, these are we're talking about students that are like in co college, like so maybe anywhere yeah. between seventeen and nineteen. Wow. So yeah, they're not like little little kids, but they're you know kids. And anyway, they they, they ended up missing, and then I guess they still haven't solved the case, but I think they found like Whoa. they found like forty three burned bodies. Like they, they, the stories that they killed them. I've and always them. wanted to start a true crime podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that, well, anyway, the reason after that shit happened, like. Cartels kind of came in, and it just been real hot down there, so we don't go down there because Whoa, my grandma yeah. got a visa, so she can come up here. Fuck that shit. I ain't uh, going, yeah, it's yeah, dangerous yeah. down there. You feel sure. me? Yeah. But uh, so I don't go down there. But I did live down there for a while. Like my parents, my parents are illegal, or, or I don't even know if I should say this. I'm snitching on here, but they, 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 <laughs> they, they're illegal. And I, but I was you born, want your mom and dad out of the house, <laughs> right? <yeah. laughs> born in Chicago, and uh, I ended up. Uh, 
But we ended up going back to Mexico, right? And we were living down there for like a year. And then my parents had to come up again illegally. So I had to cross like the border and shit, you know, whatever. Yeah. But they're like, well, they're not, we're not going to take him because he's fucking legal. Why the fuck would we put him through that? Sure. My aunt was supposed to get a visa. Like, literally, she was waiting. Like, it was supposed to be like weeks away from getting her visa. So she's like, I'll go pick him up once How I get How old my... are you? This, I'm probably like five at this point. Okay. okay. So I'm, I'm kid, but I remember shit, you know? Mm -hmm. And I just remember my yeah, mom yeah. leaving, bro. And then my aunt's visa got delayed. So I didn't come out here for like another year. So I lived in Mexico for like a year by myself with my grandma down there. And then I remember like coming back to Chicago and I was just like, who the fuck are these people? Like, I, you kind of, you got to re get like comfortable with them. But you're, yeah, you're, you're like hanging out with your mom and dad, like they're your aunt, your uncle or something. You're yeah, like, exactly. Oh, exactly yeah. what it felt like. Yeah. And then I end, I didn't go back until like 2006. At that point, I was maybe like, uh, what was it? 96 or what's going on? I can't do math, dog, but 10 years, probably maybe from, yeah, 10, I was 10 oh, years old. Yeah. And, uh, and like the whole time I was there, I was just getting like P I was getting like PTSD, bro. Like I'm 10, so I'm young, but I feel like I just don't want to be there because I feel like abandoned again. You know, I was like, a, yeah. it's like fuck. I was like, I feel like my parents don't want me. Why the fuck am I here? So I, I think I stayed, I went like two weeks and I cried every yeah. single night. Like my grandma was like, somebody go get this fucking a, fat bitch out of my bro, house. Like, I was a bitch when I went to summer camp. You have a border between you and your family. <laughs> yeah. I, feel dude, like real I, I know, dude. My my, I was born in Florida. We moved out when I was like three or four. We went back like when I was like a like a freshman in high school, just like for we didn't even do we even like do like spring break stuff. It was just like a family and we we're like just like driving around seeing all the old things. Yeah. And one at one point we drive by this like park and there was this tree we always used to play on with fire ants in it. <laughs> and I do and I literally like me and my brother I was like, It's the tree and like like in sync, like we see this tree, it's like that's the tree. And my parents were like Yo, we knew, like we were gonna drive by it. We didn't say anything, and you guys were literally just like on site. Like it's like it was like that though. It was like it was like yeah. Whoa, yeah. you know, you see it and you just know. It's yeah, wild. it brings back whatever memories you know are feeling. Yeah. Sometimes good, sometimes bad. But yeah, that shit. But yeah, and, and then that was the last time I went, bro. I didn't have any. I don't have any interest in going really. Like mm -hmm. I'm American, I'm, but like yeah. I just I want to go to Mexico, but I want to go to like Cancun. I want to do the shit that yeah, white yeah, people yeah. do. You feel yeah. me? Like yeah. I want to go on a resort. Like I don't want to visit my grandma. Fuck my grandma. You feel me? Like we beef anyway, so. Uh, I'm good. You and your grandma roast? You roasted your grandma? I mean, I roast her, but yeah, she, she roast me actually too. What's, what's, the, the, what's the meanest roast your grandma ever laid on you? Well, I don't know. She just tells the rest of the family members I ain't shit on the WhatsApp. <laughs> <laughs> on WhatsApp, you know? I just talk shit on WhatsApp. No, you know, it's just like I'm a family roasts are a bit different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, it's yeah. but it's funny because it's like, um, it's, it's, you know what it is funny? is like my grandma used to talk a lot of shit because I was a piece of shit before I was even a comic. Like, that came first. I'm shocked. So, yeah, so, right. That, that we, uh, this all led us to this, right? But, Seems like you have a certain mental skill set coming yeah, into the field. <laughs> to be one of the best. <laughs> but, yeah, so when I when I was, like, just out, you know, doing dumb shit, doing drugs and shit like that, not not doing shit with my life, it was kind of like uh, I was, like, the talk of the family. You know, it's like, oh, this is a piece of shit. I'm still not shit now, but like when people from Mexico see that you have like a social media following, yeah. like on TikTok, I got like 100K, which is, Dude, yeah. you know, and, and TikTok Woo! is like, killing it. TikTok is artificial, it's fake. Like, I yeah, feel like yeah. to me, it doesn't matter. I feel like you have to like restart every time you post because yeah. you, can you just lost half Dude, of don't your even following. Get me started. Yeah, you can, <laughs> you can even post and the shit don't go. Do, it's like 20 people watch. I was like, what the yeah. fuck's the point of having that many followers? I had, I had like 68K, man. Yeah. And I had, I had four videos that are 100K, and now I have three in a row under 500 views. It I'm like, what the hell? Yeah, it's the algorithm is shit. So I, to me, it's like artificial. But regardless, like, they, you know, they see that shit. They're like, oh shit, like, he. He famous now. He's famous. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, I am. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't ask me for shit, but I don't got it anyway. <laughs> but yeah. You brought up uh, roasting at the like the lunch table. Yeah. Uh, and you said that like kind of like set you up to go do this thing where you're you're being comedically competitive, right? When you did it, the roast, like, was there formal? Was there like a formal structure? Because there was kids that would do that when I was in high school, but it was like I mean, they would they would like it was like back when you had AOL Instant Messenger. You would like send messages to each other. Like that was a cool. That, mind you, it was antiquated for the time. You yeah. said you're doing this like at the lunch table. Yeah, we're just talking shit at the lunch table. Like there's yeah. there's not a format, but like usually one person gets one in, the next person yeah. gets one in. But the thing is, like yeah, yeah. sometimes you start going against the black homies and shit, and the black homies don't they, they catch fire. They're not gonna let you talk. You're like you're looking at this, 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 <laughs> this, and that. And that's kind of how I got mine. Cause I used to have to go against my black homies, and like they're funny as fuck. Like black people just be funny. Like they're good at everything, you know. So I was like, I got to get these motherfuckers back and like in smart ways because you don't want to just be the motherfucker that like even as a teenager, yeah. I didn't want to be like, I'm not going to call him the N word. or I'm not going to like just do black shit. I want to like I want to make it personal, like yeah. unique. And I, like so I guess that's kind of how I, I, I like I was doing that type of roasting. But I don't think it correlates or translates from that to what you guys do. Like this is more of like a comedic, like a comedian thing. I feel like 
if I only did that, I wouldn't be able to do this, I feel like. And I feel yeah. like that's what happened the first time I roasted. See, a lot of people and even get the like second that, time man. a little bit. A lot of people get this. That's the thing we were talking about earlier, uh earlier today about like people in the comment section will be like, Oh, I can do that, or like, or like I got funnier shit on my lunch table. And I'm like, yo, that's it's like a different muscle, man. Yeah, it's yeah. a different muscle. Especially on, especially like when you think your shit's gonna hit and you just like do it and they just stare at you, you're like Fuck. Like that's the yeah, best yeah. shit Cause I all, had. Because all your friends, you have all this inside knowledge. You know what I mean. You have this deep friend group. Yeah. Like you don't have to put up context or like. Yeah. I read that to myself a hundred times, and it was so funny yeah. every time I read yeah. it to myself. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and then that's and cool then too. Nothing. Like you say some shit, you probably get into a fight too. Like, <laughs> like I, yeah, it was like mine were like that. Like it'll get to that point. Like yeah. like you fucking for somebody so hard, or like sometimes like 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 somebody's mom's going through something, but you don't know, so you just start bringing their mom up. And yeah. It's like my mom, like the motherfuckers start crying. Now he want to fucking kill you. Like, like you know, you know, you make somebody mad when they're, they're crying, but they're like swole as shit. They just want to fuck you. Like that's a scary motherfucking. Yeah. Oh yeah. I remember I, we were talking shit. I was talking shit to this guy in, in high school, bro. I was talking hella shit to him, and he was like three tables away from me, and he was talking shit to me, and I was talking shit to him, and it got to a point where I was just like, I wouldn't shut up. Like I, like I was just. Yeah, talking. yeah, I was like, fuck no, once this, you get heated, once you get and heated. Like, you know, and then everybody laughing, so I'm bringing other people. I was like, look at this bitch. And like, and it got so lit that he had to get up. And I didn't realize we had we had like a cop at our school, like a real cop from like a real police yeah, department. Yeah. And that dude, I didn't even realize he was charging at me when I wasn't looking. When I turned around, I just seen the cop grab him and like slam him. And oh, he, man. he got arrested, bro. But since he got arrested, I got arrested too because I was... Like I was, I guess I was Damn, the reason. you're a freedom fighter. You're fighting for free speech. So, so, right, right. I was just talking Let shit. Let it be known, Ken Flores has been arrested for roast battling people. Right. 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 I, guess, I don't think I got arrested for roasting. I got arrested. He's got a criminal like, record. Too yeah. good at roast battling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's funny. What are your prior convictions? Being fucking hilarious. Yes. yes. <laughs> yes. And, and this, like, did the, you kill somebody? He's like, I killed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was, it was fucking crazy. Because this guy's trying to, like, this, the cop's, like, holding him down. He's like, hey, relax. He wasn't going to get arrested. They were yeah. going to let him go. But the thing is that this motherfucker kept fighting the cop. I got him so mad that he got, like, a resisting arrest charge. You got heat, dude. Wow. Like, you like, heat. Yeah. And, and then, he starts roasting the cop. But <laughs> bro, and, and, then, and then the funny thing is that they put, like, the paddy wagon comes. They put, they put us, like, the paddy wagon's in Aurora. Like, they put you big, in the same one together? Yeah, but it's a van. So it's, like, there's, like, divisions. Okay, all right. So I'm, like, in the front part, and he's in the back part. But we have, like, the holes. And this motherfucker's like, hey, my bad, bro. I was like, dude, we're already in here. Like, you're yeah. fucking too late. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucked. Like my mom's gonna kill me, dog. <laughs> I didn't like, even do shit. Like, like can you imagine, like, because because I didn't get a charge. It was just like a disturbing the peace ticket. But yeah. like, I didn't have. Did you get a, out of school? Did you go home? I went to fucking jail. What do you mean? I went no, to, I mean like, oh, yeah. <laughs> well, it's a like cool home. vacation. It, it, it'd be fun if they're like home. after an hour, like, yeah, get out of here, get out of here. Nah, man, they didn't even call my mom. I think they did it on purpose. Like they're like, we're gonna let them like. Experience. Like they try to like scare me straight or some shit, yeah. but I was like, yeah. listen, go into that jail cell, roast the shit out of those yeah. guys for entertainment, then we'll let yeah, you know. Bro, that's the worst. Yeah, it was it was it was horrible. <laughs> I remember it was like because I'm a young. I'm a how old are you? I was six. I mean, I'm right now I'm 26. No, I mean when this happened. Well, yeah. I'm like 15, 16, Jesus. and I'm at the adult jail. Like, they don't have like kid yeah. jail when you go to jail. Like you yeah. go to juvie once you're sentenced, sure. but for yeah. jail, everybody goes to the same fucking jail. That's so so I'm like in jail, like within my like white tee and like school uniform. Like so handcuffed to the fucking thing, and he was still being like a dick. So they put him in a fucking cell, I think, for like fighting the cop or whatever. Wow. So they put him in like an actual pod, and there's this drunk ass bitch like in for DUI, just like being sexy as hell. And I'm just looking at, I'm like, damn, this bitch is bad, bro. Like, <laughs> t- titties coming out her. You're dress. Drag calling in jail. <laughs> I'm just looking. I'm like, damn, this bitch is bad as hell. I was like, if she asked me what I'm in here, I'm gonna be like, I'm a drug dealer, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I was ready to lie, bro. You get a son to yeah. you snitching on yourself. You're like, yeah. you're like, yeah, what, where were you going? They're gonna, they're gonna add all these charges just for me trying to be cool, dog. Yeah. Point date That's then so dinner funny. date. What are we doing? That's so fucking funny. That's so funny, dude. Oh my god. Have you ever? Ta- have you ever? Did you end up telling your mom at any point, like after, like? Your parents that that happened at all? My mom had to pick me up. Oh, she had to get yeah. in jail. Do you know how embarrassing that is? Your mom, like, does they have a window? I, where th- I do. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, <laughs> I you know, do. like, I've been arrested <laughs> as an adult where he's like, I bond out or whatever, so you don't have to yeah. have your mom pick you up. But when it's like when you, when it's your mom, it just hurts the most, you know, because she's literally heartbroken yeah. and you're coming out. It's just like, ah, oh, fuck. Like, what? Oh, like, because my what do you, what do you like, tell her? You, you got to keep your head down. Like, I wanted to smile. The only thing that saves me is that my mom was out to dinner with my aunt, who was in town from like another place. So they both had to get me together. 
So, like, my mom didn't, like, just whoop my ass at the station because she was with somebody. Yeah. And my aunt's like, but you know they're kids. You know, shit happens. So she's, like, helping it cool down yeah. and... But then my dad got home and they tag team my ass. But, <laughs> but, but yeah, it, it was. Your mom that, and dad gave you the Legion of Doom, like yeah. clothes line up the yeah. shoulders. So they, 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 that was, yeah, that, that, that was embarrassing. But I've, I've been in trouble for way worse things, like even more embarrassing. The most embarrassing thing I was ever in trouble for Thank was you. in eighth grade. Um, there, was a, there was a food fight. So there, we had cops searching every locker. We never had a food fight. I wish we did. I'm jealous. Oh, we, had, we had so many food fights. I it was the worst because I like food. I was like, fuck. Like, <laughs> because our full fucking grilled cheese is flying around this you're like, you're like, You're like, whoa. Right, right, I'm trying to catch shit. You're but getting anyway. athletic all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I was, uh, there was a food fight and somebody was throwing rotten eggs. So they're oh, like, we don't man. serve fucking eggs. Like, you know. Someone brought somebody, eggs. Somebody to brought this? eggs to throw. Every was, day, every like, day, they're Napoleon dynamiting it into yeah. like, their, like their pants. Yeah. You know, they're waiting for the day. I'm just like, what the fuck? So they, that's, a brutal, your eggs. that's a brutal, like, war st strategy yeah. move. That's like when the Germans decided to use yeah. mustard gas in World yeah. War One. Yeah. It's, it's like, like, dude, you can't bring in fucking. You're right. breaking the Geneva like, Convention right now. Throw the fruit right cup like the rest of us, bitch. Like, <laughs> but uh, so anyway, the so the cop is like searching class per class. The whole, like, what is he searching? For who is a loose rotten egg? Well, who had the? They thought they people had boxes of eggs. Like it uh, was, okay. it was okay. not one egg thrown. There was a couple of eggs that flew around. <laughs> I think it was a group of friends and they split a box up or something. You know, now I don't know, but I don't know who it was. But I uh, so they're searching everybody's locker. The contraband's and, just protein, <laughs> and they don't want anybody to leave the classrooms because they're like, oh, they don't want anybody to like hide their shit or whatever. So now I'm in the classroom and I'm like, I gotta go to the bathroom. I had to take a piss. And the teacher's like, no, like, you, what, a, what a coincidence you have to pee now. Like, you have to wait until everybody's locker gets searched. So I was like, fuck that, I got to pee. And then one of my homies was like, bro, I'll give you $20. And by, back in the day, you're eighth grade, $20, oh, bro. No, that's a Friday fucking night, that you is. feel me? Yes, like, you go to the parks or the, the skating ring, go to the movies, whatever. You're at the mall. You got some leftover $3, 4 for the ice cream at the end of the night, whatever, dog. Yeah. Or a gram of weed if you're a fucking fiend like me. But I love how you plan drugs and dessert for your day there. Oh, yeah, before I even ask. Everything. I, I would, $20, dude, that's... Oh, yeah, yeah. but eighth grade, yes, that's a million bucks. $10, you get a dime. A dime. dollar, you get Swishers. Mm -hmm. And then with the other $7 left or $8 left, you get, you know what I'm saying, for zebra cakes in the 25 cents. <laughs> you thought about I, that? Shit, I'm a ho-ho guy myself. But right, zebra right. Cake's pretty good. I'm stretching that 20 but <laughs> yes, So I was like, $20, hell yeah, bro. And it was already like Friday night, so I was ready, bro. I was like, hell yeah, give me that 20 He's like, but you got to take a piss in the classroom, like... In the trash can right here. What? And like, I'm a fucking idiot. So I was like, oh. all right. So, bro, the class is like waiting to get searched. You know, everybody's like quiet. We're scared because the cops are there. I didn't give a fuck, bro. I just pulled my dick out and I started pissing in the trash can in class. And the teacher, like, all you hear is like, Sss. and the worst part is I'm missing the fucking trash. I'm. <laughs> I'm hitting cabinets and like other shit, so it's just you just hear bro, the piss ricochet that's off the walls. Amazing. And bro, it got to a point where everybody everybody turns around, everybody's dying, laughing. You know, <laughs> I I pull my pants up. I'm like, all right, whatever. Like, get my money. Of right, course, you're me. peeing with your pants around your ankles, like a good boy. Right, damn, here, <laughs> damn here, but he's lifted up his shirt like this. Right. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm a big uh, bro, boy. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then it fucking like. It took the t like I, I went to sit down. The teacher couldn't didn't even know what to do because she had to process what the fuck <laughs> happened. And there was a point where I'm just sitting there and she doesn't even talk to me. She tries to go clean it, so she pulls, she goes with like a Windex bottle and she's spraying Windex. But the time she's at the, she's spraying Windex, but she's like, <laughs> so like now I'm about to make the teacher throw up, bro. I'm fucking dying laughing. Everybody's dying laughing, but other people. And I remember it was embarrassing because I had a girlfriend in class at the time, and she's. <laughs> She, she's your just like, yeah, my girlfriend's in class. Shit, she's been hyping up your dick to all of her friends. And then she, all, they, they all see it you soft as hell. Like, yeah. All of her friends like, you know what, it's not, tell you, it's not a hug. Let me tell you. It's not a hug. Let me tell you what my hot, hot boyfriend Ken did in school today. <laughs> he peed all over the cabinets like a big boy. <laughs> no diapy. No diapy. Yeah, so then everybody, like, the more people are You got 20 bucks, so you get no. You got 20 bucks, so you know, you know. No, I didn't. Oh! Oh! You know what? You know, we didn't get the money. You know what? The, 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 this is the funniest part, bro. I was in seventh, uh, seventh eighth grade when that happened. I was oh in eighth, eighth grade when that happened, bro. This was years ago. I graduated high school, 2014. So I'm 26 years old. About a year and a half ago, this same guy. I we we stayed friends because he was from Aurora, like we know small community, whatever. 
we stayed friends and he asked to be on my podcast and he's an EMT so he's got a whole bunch of like crazy EMT stories and uh, shit EMTs have a nut story They're yes wild, so man. I was like fuck it I want to have like a different you know different point of view so I was like come on my shit and he came and he came through with a with a 1942 tequila, we made it a night, you know? And on the podcast, I was like, hey, bitch, like, you owe me 20 fucking dollars. That's amazing. <laughs> and he pulled it out on the podcast and gave me the 20. Yeah. I got my fucking 20. That's bro. hilarious. Yeah, it's true, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. But I took wow. the 20, bro. I was, I, was, I, was, I was like, it's funny, you know? It was just, I guess at no, that point, committed to the bib. Here's my question. Were you and that girl still dating by the end of that day? Nah, bro, fuck that bitch. I was, no, it was actually, <laughs> actually, we were dating. Dude, that, that girl was hella annoying. Like, How long did you date after that? So that happened, like, probably it's had to be like... eighth grade relationship. Like, who right, really but dates? this is important. There's did she eight. break your heart? You go fuck but that bitch. Me- like, we're Mexican, so we're already ahead of time. Like, we're, <laughs> there's, there's already pregnancy scares. Like, we're, we're, yeah, we're yeah, living yeah. adult life, bro. And she was Puerto Rican, so you feel he's, me? Like, Dude, he's already peeing in public. He's in eighth grade. Like, I'm, I'm a piece of shit, bro. You know what the funny thing is? He just finished 11 Twisted Teas and class oh, bro, yeah. <laughs> That's what, yeah everything stems back to that like no me and that girl bro me and that girl uh, i remember like uh on christmas eve she kept blowing my phone up she's like oh my god i spent like 900 dollars on clothes for you Yo, i was like bitch we're in eighth grade where the fuck you get where the fuck you get 900 dollars right so i knew she was, was lying scary. i knew it was bullshit but at the same time i'm in eighth grade dude i'm broke like i like i'm still like i'm still fucked up about the 20 i didn't get for peeing in the trash <laughs> the year but like i'm fucking pissed right so i was like oh well i, I was ducking her all of christmas eve because i didn't buy her shit wait oh. wait so you peed in the trash in class and you're the one ghosting her yes, like, <laughs> yes. i'm sorry guys we are in the presence of an alpha yes, <laughs> holy shit back hey, away bro and then like she she was like she fucking pulled up to my house bro like christmas eve like after I didn't pick up her calls, uh, her calls, give me, give me that and she gives money. me like a duffel bag of clothes, bro. Aww. And I'm like standing there, like, bro, I don't even got shit for you, like nothing. That was Christmas Eve. Anyway, she ends up leaving, whatever, right? And I had to buy some shit. Like my mom gave me money. She's like, you gotta buy yourself. Like, yeah, just not give her shit. So I was like, all right. So I went. I got her like Aeropostale clothes or some shit. And then the next, um, the next week was New Year's Eve, and I was on a third three way call with like. My girl best friend at the time, you know, fucking your oh, school, you got friends or whatever. Yeah. So, so my girl best friend was just also girl her friend. friend, and then she got on a three way and like she helped me break up with her. Like, oh. <laughs> so we broke up on New Year's Eve, and then I was just for the whole like third quarter of the year, right, right after like yeah, yeah. state testing, I would just be fresh as fuck in all the outfits. She fucking bought me like I'd be like rock aware in the cost head to toe, and, like. Holding hands with other bitches, bro. I was... Uh, Holding hands. Yeah, she hates me still to this day. Yeah, but she should, man. Yeah, yeah man. I'm a piece of shit, dog. Yeah, you are. <laughs> Ken's a pimp that pisses in trash cans. Yeah, yeah. I do it all, man. That's amazing. I do I'm it all, man. Play, dude. God damn it, dude. What a fucking episode, huh? <laughs> that was I don't know what Ken, else to cover. Ken, Ken, you're this fucking, is a fucking ride. We're at the end. We're at the end. This, this is, is it. it Ken, Ken, you're fucking hilarious, man. Thank plug you so your much socials. For doing plug this. your socials. Uh, Ken Flores three zero zero everywhere. That's uh, Instagram. Do you run any shows? You only doing anything in the city like that? Yeah, man. I, I I run two shows right now. One of them is at the Lincoln Lodge with Gabriel Alviso. He runs Laugh Now, Cry Later. He just added me to the production side of things probably love about that. three shows ago. So we've been fucking selling that motherfucker out and would love to have some of you guys, all of you guys on yeah. at one point. And, uh, but yeah, so I do that show and then I, I, I run a Latinx show at the Laugh Factory, which is second to last Friday of every month. So yeah. we're going to have, well, we actually got Jeffrey Asmus closing us out this month. So nice. it should be fucking lit. Oh, if Asmus can do it, someday I can do it. Yeah, I mean, yeah, maybe. he's also very white. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but he's funny though. Oh, man. No. No. Oh, 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 fuck. <laughs> Ken, thank My you so much. My amigo, Jeff Asmus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Chris. It's me, I'm Italian. <laughs> 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 oh my god all right i'm chris jpeg you are uh, i'm kev callum follow me on the twitter at kev callum and you are and i'm matt banner but you shouldn't follow me after that last one <laughs> 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 this... matt underscore banner sorry fucking hilarious man ken thank you so much this has been the roast battle chicago podcast have a good fucking day huh? holy shit <laughs>